Welcome to this Q&A session for the film Beautiful Something Left Behind, which is part of the 31st edition of Nordisk Panorama Film Festival. This film is not only nominated for Best Nordic Documentary, it also has a chance to win the Audience Award, so please do not forget to vote online after this session. My name is Elin Kamlet and I will be the host of this Q&A and I have the great pleasure of talking with Katrine Philp, who is the director, and Adam Philp, who is the director of photography for Beautiful Something Left Behind. Welcome both of you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> nice to have you here. So my first question is for you, Katrina, as a director. What sparked the idea for you to make a film about children's grief? Well, yeah. Well, um, we probably have to go back some years ago when um, I think it all started when I was painfully close to losing my sister-in-law. And I... Um, and I watched how my brother and their three children were struggling with their everyday life. And uh, l luckily, of course, she, she survived, but it left marks in the, the entire family. And uh, I, I think it's all started there. You know, getting interested, me getting interested in, in, in making a film about uh, how children experience grief. And um, while I was researching for this film, I actually... Um, my, my dad, I didn't know that my dad was about to get sick and, and die um, during the process. So, so it was also really kind of a roller coaster for me and, and for our entire family. Um, so making this film kind of, it, it, it made complete sense uh, where I, I was at in my life. Uh, and also I, I felt that I, I really... Uh, understood what the families were were, were going through and uh, what they faced and um, of challenges and, and um, yeah, but it was personally a, a roller coaster for me and but also very inspiring and, and it was very amazed. I was very amazed to see these you know little human beings uh, talking about their emotions and, and not be afraid of talking about death and their feelings in general. So, um, yeah. <laughs> and how did you come in contact with uh, Good Grief? And how did you, you talked about your research. Can you say something more about how you found this place or chose it or how did yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. Well, um, my producer, Katrina Selstrom, uh, listened to an episode on This American Life uh, where from, and she came across like um, a, a place if done this um, episode from a place similar to, to Good Grief. And uh, we got very curious also because we thought that the children there was so speaking naturally about death and, and yeah, and, and we started researching and calling around and, and uh, very quickly we uh, contacted Good Grief in New Jersey. And we uh, were met by this amazing uh, CEO, um, Joe Primo, and he just invited us over right away, and, and we uh, started filming, and I think that we were, both Adam and I was very, uh, from the very beginning, very first day, we were sure that there was a, a film there to, to be made, to be discovered. Um, it was very powerful to meet the children, and, and Good Grief just opened their doors completely for us, so with no restrictions at all, we were just like, let. I, I think that Joe really sensed that, that we were the ones do, that should do this film and he was very eager to, to have a film made with the children because yeah, for him and the children, grief is not a taboo, so yeah. Mm -hmm. And then as I understand it, you made quite a big uh, life decision to, to, to relocate. Tell me about that. Well, um, yeah, well, it's, when, well, Adam is my husband and... Uh, <laughs> yeah, so uh, we're working together and have done so on previous films before. And uh, so we were flying back and forth over the Atlantic to, to shoot this film. Uh, one week there, two weeks there, and we have two kids back home. So uh, every time there was a little bit of planning, uh, but then at one point we just felt that, you know, it was better to be closer to the families uh, that we were filming over there. 
So we made the decision to to move there for for a while to New Jersey. And how? When was this in the process? How long had you been filming for before you moved and 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 made that decision? And how long did you stay for? Because as it's, this film seems to span over a year. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah, I think we have been at that point filming for half a year or so. On and, and off. On, yeah. on and off, going back and forth, and. Um, and then we decided to move for a four month period, you know, the last bit of filming the film. Mm -hmm. We were there and our kids were, went to kindergarten and high school and we tried to, you know, get, get a normal life there. And that it, it was so important for us to, to be close to the families and, 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 and to just to, you know, come and film when they were ready to be filmed and not when we as a film crew were ready to film them. So, because it's, Kind of, it was a very sensible and, and very emotional period in in their lives, and 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 for us, it was very important that we could, you know, um, that we could uh, be it's, there it's, for them when they were ready for us. Yeah, it's also, you know, uh, when when you're at that stage in your life, when when you're grieving, you know, it's it's not, uh, you know, having a crew coming into your life uh, filming it's you're very vulnerable and uh, it's um, um, I mean when 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 we're ready you know we, we should we should be there close to them when when they're ready to be filmed yeah sure I mean um, the, you did come very close to them you can sense that in the film it's all very very natural and happening very natural and very close and it, it must have taken a lot of sensitivity from, from both of you, uh, both as a director and a DP. Can you talk about if you set up any specific terms to achieve this? Were there any terms from the staff or children or, or caretakers, parents? Or did you set up any terms for yourself to, to make this happen? Rules or, you know what I mean? I mean, I mean the, the most important thing was to create trust and calmness uh, around the children and, and the families. You know, they're... In a very vulnerable time in their lives, and uh, we, it's important for us to be as uh, discreet as as possible, also with the camera. Um, but but most of the time was, uh, especially in the beginning, we had to make sure that the the children is of course very interested in the camera, and we gave us time to to let them look at the camera and be relaxed about us and and then personally for me I, I lost my mother when I was 18 and I have gone through uh, grieving uh, therapeutic uh, sessions myself and I, I know how, how important it is to to talk about uh, uh, grief and mm -hmm. so I was very what can you say very connected to these children I, mm -hmm. I felt a deep sympathy with with these children so but i, I also knew that uh, you know it takes time uh, to go through a process uh, of grieving mm -hmm. uh, so i i guess i i personally i had uh, a very good uh, patience with that mm -hmm. uh, and i think you know meeting meeting families like this and and children is also about giving something of yourself and letting them know that, you know, we are vulnerable too. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, we can, we can share these feelings as well that mm -hmm. make them comfortable, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and filming at Good Grief, uh, we, we, um, we just really had to follow the situation there and, and go after all the magical moments. Mm -hmm. But in the homes, we were more like free. Uh, there were more room to, to direct some scenes. Mm -hmm. Uh, together with them and and we established a very deep relationship with all the families and um, and I think the the way of directing there we share it a lot and uh, and for us it's it's very much a collaboration with our participants and in, in the families and we were I'm always and, and you are too well discussing very openly and transparent about you know, how we would like, what kind of scenes we would like to get and, and how we would like to, to do it. And if they have any ideas of how we could, you know, 
do the scenes and so so it's a very transparent and open process and and i think that f- made them feel relaxed and comfortable too mm. um so yes. you're talking yeah you're talking to them quite a lot about specifically what you want i imagine yeah. it creates the trust as well because then they know what you're after mm. yeah exactly they they feel kind of safe i think when mm. when you are like le- letting them in in the process and it's totally natural for us to do that mm. and and then we also you know we, we our kids were there with us because mm. you know when when we were filming it was in the evening or weekends and when the kids were not at school so we we yeah, took the, them with us yeah the kids were playing with with the the kids of the family uh And sometimes they would be in the picture, and then we should uh, hold on. We just have to move our kid, our own kids, in the picture. So it was very, what you see, uh, it's a very uh, relaxed situation. Also, yeah. uh, us coming as a family, also. Mm. Our kids just we tried to have them behind the camera and like quiet when we were filming. So it was all very organic, and yeah. Mm. <laughs> That sounds nice. Mm. Can you can you say something about the, the the visual style of the film and how you developed it? You mentioned you've been working before, so I, I imagine you you know each other as a team, <laughs> of course. But the visual style for this film, because it's also very close to the children, can you say something about how you worked around that and how you talked about it? Yeah, I, I I'll just start and then I'll let you because it's yeah. I, um, well, Adam and I we work very close together and we we almost it's almost like an in, invisible invisible collaboration that we have like when we're shooting so we both know the film well, very well when we're shooting and we we know you know our characters we know we know how and we know how to what what we're going after and uh, so and i think it's it's very it's key to have this you know close relationship with your Um, cinematographer, uh, you, so we don't have to discuss a lot of things while while filming. And uh, but the style of it, we discussed the very early bit bef- before we were going, and then we decided to do something, and then we just kept to it because I think it was right from the beginning. It was very simple. Yeah, I'm, I mean the the um, the children they they have something unique to tell about. Uh, how is their life with with the uh, grief? Uh, and you know, we had uh, interviews set up at at their room, uh, and just letting them talk, you know, just talk about their situation and their feelings was just fantastic, you know. So it's super super simple setup actually. Um, just letting them talk and 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 experience their whole world. Uh, and then we were also filming at the therapy sessions uh, where we were what you call fly on the wall you know we were just trying to be as discreet as possible catching uh, uh, what was going on between the children sometimes uh, even filming the children listening to the to the other children is actually very powerful also to see the reactions of the children Uh, from what the others were, were, were telling, mm. um, and then we were also filming, you know, everyday life uh, situations um, that happen. And I mean, basically, it's 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 uh, the most important thing was to get as close to these unique uh, children, and to we were so honored uh, that they will share their feelings to us and then more or less it's just to capture that and come as close as possible as possible and 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 make uh, make it as calm and trustful as as possible mm. yeah and i think that we we also had this um, idea of only filming the children uh, from their perspective so it's a film completely from from their perspective mm. and that was Challenging sometimes not just to go up and listen to the adults all the time. The, but we, we wanted to 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 to, um, to stay there with the children and and you know when 
children are like it's it's different to film children than it is to film adults and and sometimes they are sad and two minutes later they are just happy playing so we were just like Uh, going after all these magical moments uh, and and Adam's presence was you know the camera and he want we wanted him to be physically close to the children as well so he would be part of it and not just looking at it from a distance mm-hmm. um, so he was very much on the floor with them together with them and and they just crawled around on him and uh, yeah so yeah, he, and he in a way merged together with them yeah, yeah. And then we have the yes. result. It's so beautiful. You can sense that it's so beautifully made that it is on on their level. You can you can feel it in your heart as well. So I'm I'm, I'm curious about. Did you have any ch- uh, chance to to screen it to any of the children or the families? And did you have any reactions? Well, it's always like it's the most uh, exciting part <laughs> to screen it to your participants and. Um, Because you are so exposed in a film, and especially when a, a topic like this. Um, so, and I'm always very aware, and we are very aware of uh, protecting uh, our participants. And so, so it's crucial for me that they really like what they see, and that they feel that we have seen them as they are. Mm-hmm. Uh, luckily, everyone is, has absolutely loved the film, and. Uh, It made us very, very happy. Uh, we have not had the opportunity to show it while to show it to them while we were there with them, uh, because we we were about to have this premiere at South by Southwest, and it was cancelled just before us leaving, and we were all gonna be there together. And so, I really, really miss you know this premiere in a theater and together with the good grief and all the community and also to meet the audience because that's really something that we feel that we are missing right now in this strange period so yeah so we hope for a theater and with audience and good grief so it's all the everyone yeah so you're you're holding out for that a little bit you're not going to release it uh, big on uh, vod or something like that you're waiting to be able to screen it more theatrically or where is the film going from now i'm asking Uh, um, well, we have plans, and um, but it's not yet. Uh, okay, no. Yeah, I, 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 get, it. I get it. If, if you, you want to talk about, that, I get it. Yeah, it's, it's, fine. Fine. it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> and but but in general, do you think you want to keep uh, doing more uh, films about children and following children's emotional lives? And and if so, do you have anything you want to talk about there? Or <laughs> well, <laughs> definitely, we yeah. we are working on. Um, Um, on, in a in an early development on on two films right now with children, so uh, I I hope to make a trilogy uh, about children and yeah mm. different different topics. So uh, so we we love working with kids and 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 we would definitely do that again. So, but right now we are all stuck in our own country, right? So yeah, we're just yeah, yeah, waiting know, for. We can only we can only speculate, but we don't know what you're going to do. Yeah, unless it's a lot of plans, yeah. yeah of course, <laughs> of course. So we're already running out of time. This is very short, but I just wanted yeah. to ask if there's anything final you would like to add or comment to this uh, that hasn't been said already. For example, where we can follow the work with your film or something like that. Uh, mm. There's a Facebook. Uh, yeah, we have a Facebook page for the film, and we will uh, let any news come up there uh, about the film. And yeah, and we're just so excited to uh, to screen it here in Nordic Panorama, and um, hope that a lot of people will watch it because I think it's for me it's it's very important to to have this you know conversation about life and death, and it, it's not only a film about death and, and grief is also a film about life and existence and, and you know children how they explore life and, and yeah so um, absolutely yeah I agree it's beautifully made congratulations on the thank film. you very much I love it and thank you so much for participating in this Q&A our time is up now yeah. thanks to the audience for watching this and remember that there are many other films you can watch online so uh, Let your friends know (laughs) and don't forget to vote for the audience award right after this.